he does believe, if you look at this, that America has to get away from the trees and look at the forest. He talks about getting out of Washington and going to Hyde Park or going to Georgia. I mean, that's a great metaphor, but it's a metaphor not just for him. It's also a metaphor for the American people. Don't just think about you. Think about the country as a whole. You get a real clear picture of how smart FDR thought the American people were. I mean, he's talking to them about checks and balances. He's talking to them about laying out a whole new vision. This is what the vision's gonna be based on. One of the reasons that this speech is so detailed is that it's a conceptual speech. He's laying out the vision. He wants America to buy into the vision without getting distracted by the details. He's gonna say, this is the hull of the boat. This is the framework. This is where the boat's gonna go. Let's think about the shipbuilding analogy that he uses at the start. All you know is it's a ship. And so FDR is saying the economy and recovery is like a ship. And so what he's doing is he's getting the American people to visualize as they sit around this radio, the construction of a boat, and then what can happen in their local community if the state and federal government partner together to address issues of concern in that community in a way that puts a significant number of the unemployed and those who are on the relief rolls back to work. He gives you six clear principles. He calls them six fundamental principles that govern all projects that will receive federal funding. The first is they've got to be useful. Now, useful is a great word because you can interpret it any way you want. We need post offices, right? So the WPA builds a boatload of post offices, which are incredibly useful. FDR signs the executive order creating the Federal One programs. And the Federal One programs are the Federal Writers Project, the Federal Theater Project, the Federal Dance Project, and the Federal Arts Project. It's useful because it puts people to work. The second thing, projects shall be of a nature that a considerable portion of the money spent shall go into wages for labor. What this is saying is the money has to be targeted to workers. And the auditing of the books will pay very close attention to that. In all cases, the project must be of a character to give employment to those on a relief roll. Sure, it's federal money. And sure, they're federal guidelines. But they're local projects. They're local projects that are set up by county boards, by school systems, by state agencies. And this, by and large, it's a compromise that FDR made to get it through because local groups think that they should control the money. From its inception in 1935 until Congress uh, withdraws funding for it in 1943, the WPA has an enormous impact on the United States. 75% of this was targeted toward construction. Why? What we need is we need projects that will benefit the country, but that also will put huge numbers of Americans to work fast in ways that gives them new job skills. So let's take people that might have been janitors and let's teach them how to be carpenters. So let's not only construct, but let's have on-the-job training that will enhance people's job skills and make them more employable and give them more skills to which they can market themselves once they get off relief. 